Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, a non-emergency video. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So yesterday, we put out a video on Bitcoin called Dubious Speculation. And in that video, you know, I, I warned you guys, we will have 20%, 30%, maybe even 40% corrections on the way to 100K. And especially what we would like to do to have the most confidence to go to 100K would be to test the 20 week moving average or the bull market support band, which is a combination of the 20 week SMA and the 21 week EMA. And you guys know we've been talking about this bull market support band forever and the importance of holding it to sustain the move to the upside, okay? And 12 hours later, right? 12 hours later, we have this move. And in fact, we had a wick on some exchanges, not all of them. On some exchanges, we had a wick right down to the 20 week moving average, okay? I mean, if we, if, you can see it right here, right? I mean, right down to the 20 week moving average. So clearly some people are wanting to hold the line at 20 week moving average and are hoping that it holds as support um, so that we can have the confidence to ultimately push to $100,000. Now remember, these moves to the 20 week are par for the course in a bull market. And while we did not test the 20 week once we really got started, we did test it early on, right? So these are weekly candles. While we did not test it once we really got going here, we first tested it for about six weeks back in September and October. Okay, and that's when we tested it. And today, basically exactly a year later, we're testing it again. And now so far, we've only had a wick down to the 20 week moving average. We have not actually gone below it, we have not had weekly candles closing just above it. We just had a wick down to it. Nothing really that crazy. You know, if you zoom out, we were Bitcoin was at these prices like five or six days ago. Okay, like six days ago, Bitcoin was at these prices. And so it has not been a, a huge change. Now, what I would say is that ideally speaking, Bitcoin will hold the 20 week moving average for those looking to see, say, a, a sustained rally going into the next several months. But what I told you guys back in May, it still stands, okay? And I won't deviate from it um, until I'm decisively proven wrong. I said back then, we need three to six months, okay? Below the 20 week. What did we get? We got three months so far, okay? So, so far, we've had three months below the 20 week. We had 13 weeks below it, we've been above it for the last several weeks. I don't know that we need to go below it again. I mean, it's certainly possible, even if we do, my argument that if we do go below it is that we just need about three more months and then we should be ready to go, okay? So, and I, I've been telling you guys, this is, this is what I've been thinking for the last three months, okay? A summer lull, following the summer lull, we got above the 20 week, then a, we need a test of the 20 week, ideally speaking, to have the most confidence in, in another leg of the bull market. And then if, if everything goes well, we just hold the bull market support band now. Now, it's somewhat subjective to say if everything goes well. There's a lot of people that would love the opportunity to continue DCAing Bitcoin at lower prices. So it sort of depends on what your perspective is. And I feel like everyone should be able to at least appreciate both perspectives, okay? If we go up now, if we hold the 20 week as support, then having a Bitcoin position, just like in 2020, before this move is certainly ideal, right? You don't wanna be going into this without a Bitcoin position. Additionally, if we don't hold it as support, my guess, and I, I said this in the live stream earlier, if we get one week below it, um, like we did say in, in the middle of 2013, I'm not really sure that, that it's, it's gonna be that important. We could easily get back above it. But if we have a weekly close below it and then another weekly close that goes even further down, then my guess is we need, we need another three months probably. Okay, we would need another three months. Until that time, there still is a chance here that we hold it as support. And is this not what we were prepared for? 
have we not been talking about this forever? Even before, even before we came back up, I told you guys, I told you guys that we're gonna go, you know, whenever we make that move back up to the upside, people are gonna look back and then they're gonna be scared about, about the drop back to the 20 week, even if it's at much higher prices than where they were hopefully DCing into Bitcoin. So I do not think what we are experiencing right now is an emergency. I think that we first need to see if we hold a line. And, and some of the levels to look at, like always, the eight week moving average we talked about yesterday is actually at around $45,350 or so. So we're still just above that. The eight week is what we held as support during these other pullbacks that we had. We also maybe should take note of the 200 day moving average, which at the current time, we are in stack fill still above. The 200 day moving average is $46,000, $46,065 or so. We're just above it. So we are still holding so far above the 200 day moving average. I just would like to remind everyone that we we will get these tests, right? Even even in a bull market that should take us to 100K, going to the, going to the 20 week moving average is is something that that happens a lot of times and if we don't hold it I, I think we just kick the can down the road and then we'll hold it in a few months um the 20 week estimate again now is coming in just over forty two thousand dollars the 21 week ema is coming in just over forty three thousand dollars so bitcoin still has a little bit of work to do to prove that it, it can either hold the line right now or not and then from there uh we'll, we'll see how high we can go uh, depending on if it holds or if we kick the can down the road. Now, remember, it does look a lot similar so far. I mean, here's that drop we had going into September of 2020. This this is the week that started August the 31st. So the next six days after it took us out the first week of September. We saw a very similar drop, okay? And then following that drop, we spent another five weeks at those levels before before moving back up. If we were to repeat something like that, let's just... I mean, obviously this is not going to happen, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what we experienced back then uh, to just put it on your radar. If we were to experience something like that again, the price of Bitcoin could still be trading for 50K even by the end of October, for all we know. You know, even by the end of October, we could still be trading at 50K. And then maybe by the end of December, um, if we continue that similar move, by the end of December, we could hit 100K. Um, by by February, we would be going over $200,000. Now, my speculation is that we will not see a move quite like that one, okay? I'm not speculating that we're gonna see a similar move of 10K to 60K. I doubt we're gonna see like 50K to 300K. If it happens, great, I don't mind being wrong. I'd rather be conservative than, than to predict super insane prices and, and then just scream manipulation when they don't play out like most people do. Um, I would rather be conservative, okay? So do I think we're gonna have another move like that imminently? No, but I do think that the cycle uh, still has a ways to go. But in the short term, Bitcoin has a lot to prove, okay? Bitcoin has a lot to prove. And so I, I would say just remain calm, recognize that there are these levels that ultimately we, we need to prove to sustain a, a move, a sustained move in the market. We need to prove it, okay? We need to prove it. We have not. We have not proven it yet, right? We have not, um, but hopefully we can prove it in the coming weeks. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the premium list if you wanna know how I am navigating these markets. You'll get access to weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, the trading view indicators, and more. Make sure you guys check it out. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, click the bell icon to turn on your notifications, and I will see you next time. Bye.